the scenario of crisis in Brazil can spoil business in some industries, but also can create good opportunities for M&A transactions. I'm Luciene Miranda, and this is São Paulo Direct by Ducascop TV. And I'll talk now to Fernando Meira, partner at Pinheiro Neto Advogados. Which are the opportunities here in Brazil? Well, uh, currently you have uh, many different industries that are facing the consequences of the reality that we are now uh, living in Brazil. Uh, unfortunately, the economy is not performing well as it was uh, the situation some years ago, uh, primarily due to serious uh, macroeconomic uh, policies and imbalances uh, that uh, were created uh, partially by the uh, overall economic situation uh, in the world, but uh, primarily also because of uh, wrong policies adopted by uh, us. So uh, you currently have some uh, specific industries that are facing uh, very significant distress. Uh, I would mention uh, oil and gas, which is the most obvious uh, situation because of this uh, Petrobras uh, uh, mess. And then you have uh, sugar ethanol, also because of the uh, policies that were adopted by the government not to uh, allow uh, the uh, fuel prices uh, to increase uh, at the time that uh, Petrobras was importing uh, uh, petrol, uh, paying uh, very high uh, prices, and they were not uh, allowing this uh, to go to the uh, pump because of the need to uh, restrict uh, the inflation. So sugar ethanol is also a sector that is facing a lot of difficulties. I would say auto parts uh, is also another one. Uh, construction in general, uh, civil construction companies, uh, they have built a lot of properties and now I understand that they are facing uh, difficulties. Uh, many uh, purchasers of those properties are returning uh, units uh, to these companies and then the companies uh, are facing an increase in their inventories and they are trying to sell down these uh, properties uh, for a discount. So they are also uh, uh, in a situation uh, of financial distress. Uh, you also have uh, mining uh, that is not due uh, to specific uh, Brazilian situation, but uh, to this uh, end of the super cycle of commodities. Uh, as people uh, quite understand today, uh, Brazil was so dependent on China and the imports that were directed uh, to them and now uh, with this uh, change in their uh, model to more of a consumption uh, society and economy, uh, they are increasing uh, at lower rates and they will import uh, less of our uh, commodities. So uh, in a nutshell, you have a lot of sectors that are facing difficulties and then M&A is definitely uh, an opportunity to be uh, pursued by these companies. Uh, you're going to uh, see situations in which you have uh, stronger players, uh, notwithstanding this whole situation. Uh, they anticipated that that would be a likely scenario that they would face, so they uh, restricted investments, uh, they uh, had a very conservative uh, cash flow uh, management, and now they are in a situation that they can uh, go to the market and buy uh, other players uh, that are facing uh, this uh, crisis in a weaker position. So it's a, a typical consolidation situation. You also have uh, situations in which you have uh, middle uh, size uh, companies or even small size companies that they are already facing uh, difficulties to assess uh, credit. Uh, and they are uh, having uh, difficulties to receive uh, and to collect uh, from their own clients. So uh, there is a mismatch between these, their cash flow positions. And they are also trying to see uh, potential partners uh, so that they will partner with other competitors uh, to put together a company with more scale. And then uh, this company could attract interest from financial investors uh, that may see a good opportunity to inject cash uh, in those companies right now and then use that as a platform to uh, consolidate other companies. Uh, financial investors are always uh, looking for uh, opportunities like this in which they will pay a uh, attractive price uh, once they make their investments and then uh, 
they would uh, pursue uh, growth opportunities uh, using the cash that they will invest in the company. So there are a lot of opportunities. Uh, hopefully uh, that will become true. Uh, there will be uh, this uh, movement and at the end uh, those industries will recover uh, and we're going to have uh, more uh, solid uh, companies and probably lessons will be learned out of this uh, crisis. Uh, here at the office we see many clients facing difficulties uh, because they were so aggressive uh, in making investments. So they incur in that, uh, believing that Brazil will continue to grow uh, and there will be a demand uh, for their products. Unfortunately, with this uh, slowdown, uh, this uh, reality has changed, but they have the debt. Uh, what about news in regulation here in Brazil? Uh, I would mention that uh, quite recently, in January 20, uh, that was uh, a good surprise. Uh, Brazil opened up the, uh, the opportunity for investors to uh, uh, make uh, majority investments in uh, hospitals and clinics. Uh, this is a sector that is uh, calling a lot of uh, attraction uh, these days because uh, the population uh, in Brazil uh, is a significant one. Uh, we're talking about 200 million people. Uh, this population uh, is uh, aging and uh, uh, with the uh, recent years uh, there is uh, a gain in wealth distribution in Brazil and it's clear for everyone that the public uh, sector will not be able to provide a uh, uh, good uh, health uh, system to the uh, public in general. So people will need to go uh, to the private sector. And uh, now with this opportunity for the big international players and financial investors to come uh, and to acquire hospitals that are either uh, non-for-profit organizations or uh, hospitals that are owned by uh, families and they lack the necessary scale to grow and to have access to capital, uh, probably that will generate a lot of uh, transactions. We already see here at the firm uh, a lot of interest uh, from uh, companies that explore hospitals today that are looking for uh, divestment and also from uh, strategic and financial investors that would like to uh, participate in this industry in Brazil now. How was M&A business last year? 2014, it was uh, uh, at the end, uh, it has proven to be a good year for the firm. And I think uh, the rankings that have been published uh, evidence uh, this. Uh, it's everybody uh, had participated in a market that was uh, stable. Although in the beginning of the year, I would say in the first uh, quarter of uh, 2014, we were quite concerned uh, because to, in 2014 we had a uh, carnival uh, in March, uh, we had the World Cup uh, in July, and then presidential elections uh, in October. Uh, so uh, this whole uh, series of events were uh, not good for the economy because they created a lot of uncertainties. Uh, so people, especially because of the elections, people were uh, expecting to see what would be the outcome. And they had basically uh, two uh, basic plans. One, uh, if the incumbent administration would win, uh, which is uh, a more uh, bearish plan. And if the opposition uh, would have uh, won the election, then uh, they would put in, in place a more uh, bullish uh, plan. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, it was a good year. Uh, when we look to this uh, comparison between 2014 and 2013, here at the firm, we pretty much work in the same volume of transactions. Uh, so uh, again, I think in Brazil, you already have a uh, almost mature market uh, in specific industry. So you have a lot of assets uh, that are well-managed companies, companies that have uh, reached the next level in terms of corporate governance, access to capital, and they continue to attract uh, attention from investors and there is always uh, a consolidation. And uh, one cannot forget that Brazil has very strong fundamentals in terms of uh, largest producer of uh, soft commodities, hard commodities, uh, diversified uh, industry. Uh, so you produce uh, airplanes, uh, pharmaceuticals, uh, very strong uh, car industry. Uh, we are very, very strong in these uh, co uh, uh, agricultural commodities. Uh, so uh, strong financial industry. So all of that combined 
uh, continues to justify for investors uh, to come to Brazil, irrespectively of this uh, current situation. That is something that was already expected. I think uh, we're living a change in the uh, overall economic model adopted by Brazil. And I am positive that this uh, will pay off. Uh, I think the economy, after it is able to absorb uh, these uh, losses and difficulties, we're going to be in a better situation for the next coming years. Fernando Meira, thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. Thank you. Luciene Miranda to São Paulo Direct by Ducascop TV.